My name is Matthias Matzko. I'm coming from Dachau in Germany. It's uh, located 25 kilometers away from Munich. So everybody knows this town. And uh, what we are uh, powering there is a mid-sized hospital of about 460 beds. And I'm in charge of the radiology department there. Uh, we have six radiologists working there on site together with 15 technicians. In in 2008, we established our Center for Uterine Fiber Therapy with focused ultrasound. And up to now, we've treated 250 patients in our center with a big success. In March 2010, we reopened the center with a dedicated MRI only used for focused ultrasound. Well, a colleague of mine told me about focused ultrasound. I never heard about that. And I got interested in the method. So uh, General Electric invited me to visit St. Mary's Hospital in London. And uh, after this visit with Professor Giedroich, I was kind uh, of infected by focused ultrasound. And it was really exciting to see uh, how the patient was treated. When I came back from London, I was very excited about the technology. And uh, I was thinking about how to implement this in our uh, environment and uh, talking with the hospital administration, they were not willing to invest in this risk of a new method. So uh, I took my small telemedical company and uh, made the proposal to uh, rent the system and implement it in our hospital. So I took off the risk uh, of the hospital administration. We started with about five to 10 treatments a month because uh, it, uh, was hard for a lot of patients to pay the therapy out of their pocket. And that is a limiting factor. On the other side, uh, the patient uh, had to get the knowledge that this therapy in our site is possible, that we are existing. So it uh, was a kind of uh, ongoing process. And uh, with uh, uh, Proceeding the timeline, more and more patients were informed and more and more therapies were done. So uh, in midterm, we had then 10 to 12 patients per month. So our, our machine was fully booked in advance for about four months period of time. When we started, uh, there was actually no reimbursement in Germany for uh, uterine fiber ablation with focused ultrasound. Uh, anyway, we started small and produced good results. From the beginning on, uh, we were very hard in selecting the patients that are suited for therapy. We have a withdrawal rate of about 70%, that's a lot. But uh, the aim was only to get patients to focused ultrasound that are suited for, because only in this way and manner we can provide good results and we can provide long-term good results for our patients. And that's very important, uh, especially regarding the issues of reimbursement. Because when you want to have reimbursement for such a new method, you have to produce good results. And that's why you have to select the patients very carefully. This, these good results, we went to one of the biggest insurance companies in Germany and applied for reimbursement. They visited all three centers in Germany and had a look how they, the patients were treated with this method. There were two factors that were very interesting for the insurance companies, that only the patients uh, were treated with focused ultrasound that are suited for, and the second was an interdisciplinary um, setup of our center. Uh, when we need a gynecologist to treat the patient or to inform the patient. We have this gynecologist uh, cooperating with us on our side, and that was the main or the key figure a factor to, uh, for the insurance company uh, to say, yes, this is a center where we want to get the reimbursement contract. Then they asked us, well, we are a nationwide acting insurance company, and you only can treat three patients a week. so." Together with the insurance company, we uh, planned the new center and uh, the numbers increased dramatically uh, from this point on. We uh, doubled the number of therapies. From this time on, the hospital administration uh, was uh, 
convinced about the method of focused ultrasound and convinced about the business model. So in, they invested, um, uh, again, a huge amount of money to build up this new center. And so we can provide service now for even more patients. We treat two patients per day on five to six hours per, uh, per days per week. Now it's limited not by the factor of uh, reimbursement and not by the factor of technology, it's f uh, the factor human resources. And we do not have enough doctors to uh, get rid all of the therapies we uh, asked for. Marketing is really, in fact, one of the key issues. We started in a typical radiological manner. We did uh, marketing in our referring physicians and we informed all our gynecologist colleagues in the south of Germany, in Switzerland, in Austria about our new center. The result was very poor, so we did receive some uh, referrals, but quite not too much. So we switched our strategy and uh, went into direct patient marketing. Uh, how did we do that? We started uh, to implement a website with a good uh, domain name and um, used Google Ads as a powerful tool to get this, uh, to get this web website known to the people. And um, with the patients going on our website, there was an increased demand for information on the patient side. So we implemented a 24-hour hotline with trained nurses to get patients informed, not only about focused ultrasound, but about all possibilities to treat myomas, beginning with hysterectomy, laparoscopic or hysteroscopic uh, operation, uterine fibroid embolization, and focused ultrasound. And uh, what our aim is to figure out the ideal method to treat the uh, personal situation of the patient and to treat the myomas as it, they could be treated as it's best. Interesting thing is that we are not only acquiring our patients from the south of Germany, they are coming from all over Germany, but in fact uh, even from countries like Austria or Switzerland, neighbor countries that are not offering focused ultrasound therapy. And uh, there's even a new market, it's all the uh, Eastern European countries where uh, patients are applying from. They come from Poland, from Russia, from Bulgaria, and even uh, we had one patient coming in from Dubai, so I was very uh, excited about that. And um, uh, we have now, in a small hospital like ours, an international uh, customership or uh, a number of patients uh, that are coming to us for therapy. When you do a good marketing and good patient selection, you will be in short term a very successful site with focused ultrasound.